All right, what's going on y'all? So today I'm gonna to talk about how I protect my hair and what I use for hair loss prevention while on steroids. So one of the common side effects of steroids is hair thinning and eventually male pattern baldness. Now, how much steroids affects this um, is all genetic based. It does depend on how prone you are to male pattern baldness. But with that being said, there are things you can do and take to prevent you from, or at least help prevent you from um, losing your hair while running steroids. Now, even if you're not um, that prone to male pattern baldness, over time, if you are running steroids, um, you can still see um, some damage and some thinning to your hair. Um, I personally don't struggle with male pattern baldness um, very, very much, but um, based off of some compounds, I have seen more shedding. Um, and then with my experience uh, as a coach working with clients, I've seen some clients um, lose a ton of hair um, depending on some compounds. So today I'm gonna talk about my experience um, with certain compounds, you know, which ones are um, a little bit harder on hair, and then um, what I actually do and what I take to prevent hair loss um, while running steroids. Um, so first off, um, like I mentioned, you know, hair loss while on steroids um, has mainly to do with, you know, how, how prone you are to male pattern baldness. But the reason why steroids cause um, hair thinning and hair loss is because testosterone converts over to DHT. DHT is the molecule that actually speeds up male pattern baldness and will cause you to lose your hair. So this will come into play when talking about, you know, the compounds that really, really affect hair loss as well as what we can take to help prevent hair loss. So when it comes to the compounds, I'm gonna give you all my experience with it, my personal experience as well as what I've seen with um, working with many, many, many clients um, and seeing many people in this industry, um, what they've dealt with. So first off, let's go ahead and cover testosterone. So um, for me personally, testosterone, by and large, I've not noticed really any hair loss. Um, I can say whenever I've pushed up to higher doses, so um, the highest I've ever pushed up on, on testosterone was 750 milligrams a week. When I did push that high, I did notice um, a little bit more shedding with that. Now, this makes sense because testosterone does convert over to DHT. So um, if you're taking a lot of testosterone, you're gonna have a lot of extra testosterone um, that's going to convert over to DHT. So many people do experience a lot more shedding with higher test ranges. Um, this is something I've seen um, with some clients and, and, and with many people out there, especially the big boy bodybuilders that take um, a lot of testosterone um, that are taking you know, some pretty heavy doses of it. This is where um, you know, I do know many people that have experienced hair loss from testosterone. With that being said, um, for the most part, testosterone is relatively safe compared to some other compounds on your hair. You know, especially if you're running TRT, I get asked the question all the time, you know, my guys running, you know, TRT or HRT, you know, should they worry about hair loss? Yes, you need to go ahead and do what you can to prevent hair loss. Um, but for the most part, running TRT isn't going to speed up hair loss at an extreme rate um, like some other steroids could. Um, so now let's go ahead and get into some harsher ones. So um, now we're going to talk about DHT. So if you guys have seen my other videos on um, different steroid cycles, compounds, all of that, I explain um, exactly what DHTs are and angelones are, um, test derivatives, all of that. But DHT is a class of steroids um, and these are known for being harder on the hair because um, they are a DHT. So this is what actually is ripping out the hair. So within this you've got the two big ones you'll hear about um, people losing hair and what I've experienced um, is Winstrol, that's an oral steroid. Some people do take an injectable, but typically it's an oral. Um, and then Mastron. Mastron's typically an injectable. Um, and both of these are um, great DHT steroids. Um, they're, they're, they're very potent. Um, I love Mastron. Um, but with that being said, I did notice a little bit more shedding. So when I'm talking about shedding, guys, too, this is, um, you know, when you're in the shower and you're shampooing your hair, you know, it's normal to see for everybody. Everybody has a little bit of hair loss per day. Um, you lose some dead, dead hair strands. Um, you should notice that in the shower. When you have more shedding, so running steroids, this is where you're gonna see more. You're gonna see a lot more of it. Some people even experience clumps coming out. Um, but for me, you know, running Winstrol, you know, deep in a contest prep, I do notice a little bit more shedding. Now with what I take though, and what I'm gonna talk about, I have not noticed that at all. But um, in the past with Winstrol and Mastron, I have noticed a little bit more shedding. I guess all the time. Um, what about Primo? Primo, I've not noticed any damage to the hair at all. Um, I know some people that Primo is pretty hard on their hair. Um, so this is another point too, guys, is um, a lot of this is going to be person dependent. Just like 
it depends on um, you know how much you you deal with male pattern baldness. It's also going to depend on how you 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 handle these compounds. You know, everybody's person dependent with how they handle drugs. Same thing goes here. So, you know, some people are going to experience more hair loss on Primo, and some are going to experience more on Mastron. With that being said, um, Mastron and Winstrol are typically known as kind of the two harshest on hair. Another one that's not talked about as often with hair loss, but what I've seen personally with other people is Trim. So Trim, I've noticed, um, if you guys have been watching this channel, you know I A, only use Trim in a contest prep and B, I don't frankly like using um, big doses of Trim, but even with that I have noticed um, a little bit more shedding while on Trim. Um, I've noticed on other people though, and I've heard people complain about Trim just ripping out their hair, and I know some people can't run in Trim at all, because of what it does to their hair. Um, but those are kind of the big ones, um, especially the DHT compounds. So you've got Winstrol, you've got Mastron, Primo, Anivar. These are ones that, um, if you've never run them before and you are concerned about hair loss, um, that when you start, definitely be paying attention to if you have increased shedding, anything like that. Because the DHTs are typically the ones known for more hair loss. So now let's talk about what I, I use. Um, to prevent hair loss. So like I said, uh, before doing any of this, you know, I, I have, you know, pretty good hair genetics, um, but, you know, I have, you know, experienced some more shedding with some compounds and I wasn't taking anything um, for, you know, hair protection or hair loss prevention. Um, but then I went ahead and, you know, when I noticed some more hair shedding on my last contest prep, so about a year and a half ago, um, I decided, you know, I, I needed to go ahead and do something. So really, really looked into it, saw what other bodybuilders were taking, and then did my own research on um, really, frankly, how to protect hair. And I um, now take three different things. And these three things um, have really, A, not only um, really decreased the shedding, and I'm talking about decreased the shedding to where it's actually less than it was before even running steroids. So that like normal amount of hair you lose per day, um, it's, it's even less than that now. Um, my hair is even stronger. Um, the fans are, or the, the strands are thicker. Um, so this has really, really, really helped my hair. So the first thing I take is a pill, and this is finasteride. So this is one milligram. Um, by the way, guys, I use a company called Keeps. I'm not affiliated with them at all. Um, it's just who I use to get um, what I'm gonna talk to you about today. Um, I use Keeps, they've got another company called Hems, um, but there's several different companies out there you can get um, what I'm talking about today. And frankly, all you have to do is go on there, um, you take a picture of your head, and then you can get a prescription. Um, so it's really, really easy. But I take finasteride, one milligram every day. So what this does is this helps um, block the conversion of testosterone over to DHT. So it's helping block DHT, um, which is actually you know what's ripping out your hair. So um, this right here is really, really, really gonna help protect your hair. So for hair loss protection, or prevention, so actually protecting your hair from losing in the first place. So we're not talking about regrowth here or anything like that, even though this can help regrow, this is more for hair loss prevention, period. Um, and this, you know, this I started taking before the other things. Um, I started taking this about six months or so before I, t I uh, started taking what I'm gonna talk about, and I noticed a pretty massive difference um, with this. So out of everything I'm gonna talk about, if I had to recommend one thing, it would be um, get yourself finasteride. So finasteride, one milligram. The other thing I take, is minoxidil. So this is a topical solution. I just put this on the scalp. Um, so this is minoxidil, um, 5%. So this can actually help stimulate growth. Um, so where if you've already had some hair loss, this can actually help bring it back. But this is also gonna help um, strengthen your hair, all of that. So um, I play that twice a day. So I shower twice a day because I you know do cardio in the morning with posing, all of that. I usually shower in the morning and then I shower again once in the evening after training. Um, so after both showers is when I'm applying minoxidil. You're supposed to apply it twice a day. Um, and all I do is get out of the shower. I use the dropper. Um, it's just one milliliter. Um, I drop it around my scalp and then I massage my scalp for about 30 seconds. Um, and that's all I do with minoxidil. But also with this, I've seen this make a pretty big difference. I started this about six months out of finasteride. I didn't really think I needed it because I didn't really need regrowth. Um, but this has actually strengthened my hair. Um, so I won't be stopping this. Um, so we've got the finasteride, the minoxidil. Oh, um, with the finasteride, I know I'm gonna get comments on this. One reason a lot of guys choose not to take it is because in something like one or 2% of, of people they've experienced um, erectile dysfunction or sexual performance issues, 
I personally don't know anybody um, that's had that. And I know several bodybuilders that have been taking finasteride for years and have had literally no negative side effects. I'm not saying you won't experience negative side effects because um, it is very person dependent, um, you know, how you interact with drugs. But um, I personally don't know anybody that's had negative side effects with um, finasteride. So we've got the finasteride pill, we've got the minoxidil um, topical solution. And then in the shower, I use a DHT shampoo or DHT blocking shampoo and conditioner. So what this is doing compared to the finasteride, the finasteride is in your system is blocking um, the conversion of testosterone over to DHT. This is blocking it actually at the scalp, on the scalp. So um, what you do here is you just rub the shampoo and wash it out and then you rub the conditioner in and then let that sit for you know three to five minutes and wash that out. And I use this um, you know about once every five days. I only wash and condition my hair about uh, once every five days. And if you guys want me to go into a video on more of my grooming tips on you know, how I style my hair or beard or any of that, I can definitely do videos on that. Um, but that's not really what this is. So that's frankly what it is. Um, you know, I take the finasteride, I take the minoxidil, and then, um, you know, once a week or once every five days, I'm using the DHT blocking um, shampoo and conditioner. But those three things have made a massive difference for me. This is not to say it's going to be 100% cure for um, hair loss while on steroids, but um, it, it has, it's worked well for me and I know several people that have been bodybuilding for a long time and have a full head of hair that have been using the same thing. Um, so definitely go ahead and, and, and check that out. If you guys are you know, worried about hair loss, you guys are you know, bodybuilding, you know you're gonna be in this game for a while, I'd highly recommend you check this stuff out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and smash that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already, leave any comments or questions down below. Be happy, be positive, be powerful, and have a great rest of your day.